everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I'm so happy you clicked on this video. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the most frustrating part about living with both cerebral palsy and being visually impaired. Now, there's definitely like a bunch of different reasons why living with both is very frustrating. But today, I'm going to share with you the most frustrating thing in my opinion. Because I guess having cerebral palsy wasn't enough, I also have to ha be visually impaired. Like, I guess I'm that lucky to have both. So since I have right hemiplegia, cerebral palsy, my right side is my right side. So I prefer to be on the left side and guess being on that side when I go out in the world because that is my strong side. But, you know, if you think about it, it's just a challenge and the fact that we live in a right-handed world, you know, is a challenge just in terms of that because if you think about it, the world is designed for right-handed people and just designed in that type of way. For me, like, that is a challenge within itself, not even mentioning that, you know, I am visually impaired. But also, when you bring out the fact that I am visually impaired and specifically I have hemianopsia, um, it makes it even more challenging. For those who don't know what it is, for me, it is a fear cut in both of my eyes on my right um, size, so I have a 50% fear cut and it affects the right side of both of my eyes. So I don't have like preferred vision. Um, on my, you know, like seeing like this way, like looking at the camera, like I can't see what's over there, but like, right, like I could see my hand if I'm like reaching my hand out like this, but if I reach my hand out this way, like I can't see my hand. So, you know, that how my vision affects me. So that being said, like being on the right side in terms of just thinking my vision would be the best thing for me because if I'm on the left side like I'm gonna miss like things that are happening on my right side because I can't see that unless like I turn my head so that is you know a challenge for me because you know I prefer to be on my left side because of my cerebral palsy so my cerebral palsy is telling me like be on your left side because you know that is my strongest side and that way I feel most comfortable but being visually impaired is telling me you know the safest place to be is towards the right as possible because you know, you won't miss as much and you won't like knock into things and you will see where you're going a lot better. So for example, if you're going up a flight of stairs in public, you go on the right side because that is how the world is designed. You go on the right side and you say towards the right and that's how you go upstairs. But for me, I prefer to go upstairs on my left side because I'm most comfortable doing that. But of course, like if a staircase is crowded and there's like people going up and down at the same time, like I have to go on the right side. And for my vision, that is the best thing for me to do so I don't miss anything. But sure, like my cerebral palsy is telling me like, I prefer to be on the left side and so to this day like if I get the chance and you know I'm the only one going up the stairs like I will like try to like sort of go up on my left side because I just feel most comfortable with that but I will say like I have gotten better um so you know it's just really frustrating like having you know cerebral palsy and also being visually impaired because you know they're both telling me like different things and I remember in high school I had only case of mobility and I also had other people working with me to help me like feel more comfortable you know be on my right side specifically that was like going in hallways and you know navigating through you know hallways to get to my classrooms and you know for a long time one of my accommodations was to leave the class a couple minutes early so I could get to the next class um without the hallway being crowded and that could help me because then I won't get like overwhelmed and you know there won't be like so many people and I can not worry about like being on the left side of the hallway and 
um, it really helped me for, you know, a good amount of time, but then, you know, towards the end of the high school, you know, the people who were working with me wanted me to feel more comfortable, and they knew for my vision and being able to navigate and see everything, like, it would probably be best to, you know, get more comfortable being on my right side, and even though I feel more comfortable on my left side because of my CP and because, you know, that's my strongest side, like, my vision also, like, it's, it's so hard. So I definitely got better, and at the end of high school, you know, I started leaving at the very time, you know, everyone else getting in class, and, you know, I did pretty well with that. And then by the time I got to college, you know, I left at the time everyone else getting, and I think I did pretty well. You know, college is a little different because, you know, classes end at different times. So sometimes, you know, the hallway would be crowded, but sometimes it wouldn't. So times where it wasn't crowded, like I think I did pretty well staying on my right side, but I will say like I sort of tend to want to be on my left side when I get a chance and if it's not crowding because you know I just feel most comfortable and I try my best to like make sure I'm so looking at the right side so I don't miss that you know visual feel that I you know do miss because of having nausea and what you know my vision is and how you know it affects me so I try my best to like turn my head and make sure I'm not like <laughs> gonna run into something. It's definitely one of the most frustrating things about having both because it's like one thing is telling me I'm safe for this way but the other one is telling me I'm safe for another way and you know I have to choose one and also like being like left handing being like the left side is my strongest but also like living on a, on a world that is designed for right handed people so it gets like it's so hard um guess you know everything but i think i've done pretty well and you know i've definitely gotten better i you know i'm definitely more comfortable than i was back like years ago like in you know high school and middle school now i feel like if i have to like i can walk on the right side and feel comfortable back then like i didn't feel comfortable doing that at all and i would be like on the left side at all times so i definitely have improved with that but yeah, it definitely is something like I'm gonna have to deal with, you know, throughout my life. But I do think like if I only had to deal with like one thing, it would be easier so then I could just focus on that one thing rather than two things that, you know, affect me in different ways. But yeah, that is the most frustrating thing in my opinion of living with both cerebral palsy and being visually impaired. I hope you enjoy hearing, you know, my thoughts on that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. I post Monday and Fridays. Um, so you don't want to miss out on that. Also, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye. <laughs>